Hello boys and girls, it is I, Semphis, and I'm here to teach you how to be the most optimal gamer you can be by showing you how to structure your day. Now, some of you might think this is lame and not necessary, and I'm not saying you have to do it exactly like this. If you're someone that's capable of tracking in your head, you want to write it in your phone, a notebook, that kind of thing, that's totally fine. I'm just using this as a kind of like a visual representation so you kind of see it for yourself. So I'll go over a couple different things that you can do, but... First off, we'll start with my degenerate schedule when I was kind of on the complexity C9 days, um, when I was basically just playing Counter-Strike all day, you know, I didn't really have a job or anything like that. It was just playing Counter-Strike. So to start off, essentially what I would do is I'd wake up, I'd have a shower, I'd eat, then I would just kind of chill, watch YouTube, watch some shows, kind of whatever I wanted to do in that time. Then before practice, you know, generally about an hour or two before practice, because like I said, this wasn't completely planned out. This is kind of what I did. I would do like one hour of aim training and then like an, a demo review for about an hour. Now, I didn't always do the demo review every day, but generally I tried to do something like watch a demo of myself, watch a demo of the other team, rip some strats or something like that, right? And then right before practice, I try to get myself like a little bit of snack or a coffee, you know, energy drink, something like that, just to, you know, get me in the zone, <laughs> right? And then we'd have team practice. So from like two to, you know, six, you know, we play because we didn't play a ton of hours back then. There wasn't as many teams to play. Um, so our practice schedules weren't like super intense, uh, but we'd play a lot outside of practice as well. So Generally, different teams had different schedules. Some of us, we didn't really have much breaks, but generally we'd have a little break. So we do team practice for like two hours, maybe two or three hours, and then we'd have a break, you know, either 30, 30 to 60 minutes. And in that time, you know, I would just usually get food or, you know, watch some YouTube or something like that. Nothing crazy. Then, you know, more team practice. Then we'd usually have a cool down chat, you know, kind of hang out in team speak for a little bit, talk about what went wrong, what we should do the next day, that kind of stuff. And then after that, I would usually get food right after, you know, practice. And then I would play more pugs, FPL aim training. Um, and then I was never one to kind of just play everything and just straight, you know, like some people play like 10 hours straight. I would usually take like, I play like two or three pugs and then I would take a break and I'd like watch a show or something. So when I was on Quantic, <laughs> me, Days, TCK, um, we used to just like watch shows, Frost. We would like watch Breaking Bad together, stuff like that, because we were pretty close. So we'd watch like, you know, Breaking Bad or, uh, you know, um, Game of Thrones or something like that, you know, um, <laughs> mo uh, maybe a movie that we wanted to watch, you know, uh, totally legally downloaded. Um, and then we'd usually hop in DM together and just kind of like, you know, just practice our aim, maybe go into server theory craft for a bit. Then I would get more food and then I would play more pugs, more FPL, maybe watch another demo. And I should say here that while all of this is pretty consistent, sometimes I'd play like another game. Like I might play like Dota, you know, from the, I might play a couple hours of Dota before bed. But the main point was like, this is kind of how I structured my day without structuring my day. Like I didn't actually plan this. This is just kind of like how I did things. But as you can see, this is like pretty much my whole day is Counter-Strike. You know, there's little breaks here or there, but you know, for the most part, it's Counter-Strike. And while I realize most people cannot, you know, factor in this amount of time to just play Counter-Strike, um, unless you're basically pro or like living in the basement. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I, I think like this helped me a lot become really good. Um, before I was able to no life it, I would obviously just have a little bit less time to do something. Like I used to work a night shift at a grocery store. So obviously um, my, it would be like team prac and then I'd have to cut out like the other games in the movies to go to work. You know, you know what I mean? So it's just like, I would still kind of do the same thing, like shower, food there just wouldn't be any of this it would be straight into team prac you know anything anything like that right so if you're someone that that goes to school or has a job in you know, university girlfriend if you're lucky then obviously your day is going to be a little bit harder to structure you're going to have a little bit more um obligations right so you're not going to be able to just game all day so that's why i think like it's really important to decide how you want to structure your day and try to keep a consistent schedule. That's why I always stress sleep being really important and trying to keep a consistent schedule for gaming just so that you can have like a proper like system because it's really easy to kind of just like fall out of pattern and that's going to hurt you in the long run. So let's say you're someone that goes to school, like high school, college, whatever. So obviously I switched the time from two hour intervals to 60 just because your day is going to be a little bit more, um, 
there's gonna be a little bit more things to do. So, you know, obviously it depends on every person, but if I was you guys, like it would be like, wake up, eat, shower, school. Like I would just, I would eat, shower, school within an hour. Then obviously you might have like school all the way till let's say school till 3 PM. I don't know exactly, you know, obviously uh, this schedule is not going to be completely accurate because people are not usually going to school at 10 a.m. But you get the point, right? From here, you're basically going to get home and then you have to decide, like, are you someone that can actually do your homework or your obligations later? Is Are you actually going to do it? Are you someone that's just given up on school and your whole goal is to become a, a pro player? I don't recommend that, but I'm just saying you have to decide for yourself what you're going to want to do. I suggest get your shit done. Get home and just do your homework. So do your homework, just get it done. Because if you leave it until the evening, there's just a really good chance that you don't do it. And while that's going to help you in terms of getting better at Counter-Strike, the majority of you are not going to go pro. That's the hard truth, right? So always have a backup plan and make sure that you have some sort of realistic expectations, right? You can go pro and finish high school at the same time. This is 100% possible. Many players have done it. Um, in fact, the majority of players <laughs> have done it. So don't think you have to quit. There are some players that have dropped out, but generally those players are, are people that were insanely good at like 15, 16, and it was so apparent that they were going to be good that they could kind of take that risk. But again, it's still a very large risk, right? And I'm not someone that thinks like you have to go to university to be a super successful person. Just if you have no backup plan, if you have, you're, you're, you're going to hurt your future is all I'm saying. So just <laughs> take that in consideration, um, and, and plan, plan accordingly. Um, so, you know, you do your homework, however long that takes, like I said, this is your schedule. Um, and, and usually when you're on a team and you're going to school or work or something, your, your practice is going to start later. You're going to start around like four, five, six PM. Generally going to play more in the evening. You're going to play your practice from like, let's say five, to eight or something like that, right? So you might not have a ton of warm up time. So it might be like homework into DM. So like, you know, you do homework into DM. So if you get your homework done early, you can DM before. If not, you, you try to get as much done as you can. Maybe you give yourself like 15 minutes to warm up. Anyways, that's up to you. Then you do practice, you play your practice. You're probably getting no break here because you're not on a pro team. You're not playing enough. You're just going to play four scrims in a row, probably. Um, from here, you guys, like, hopefully you did your homework. Now you got to finish whatever you got left if you didn't. Or, alternatively, you could have come home and, you know, just gone straight into watching demos, that kind of stuff. Um, but, again, like I said, I think most people are better off doing it first. But, again, if you're someone that can do it later, props to you. Um so here you want to like demos, DM, pugs, like FPLC, FPL type thing. That's when you want to put that. Um, obviously food is going to be a little bit more uh, problematic here. You're probably just going to have to fit it in when you can. It's not going to be as, you know, scheduled. So when you get home, you're probably going to eat, you know, like you, you know, you probably ate at school at lunch. I hope they gave you a break. Um, and then you're going to just throw in some food somewhere, you know, whether, you know, so every player is different. Some people barely eat, they eat like two meals a day. That's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. As long as you're getting enough calories to sustain yourself, there's, there's no like right answer with how many meals you eat, if I'm being honest. Um, but my point is like, you're going to have to fit that in yourself. Like, I don't know when you eat, so I don't want to just make it up. Um, and then, you know, uh, like I said, you're going to, after your prac, you're probably going to eat again. So like prac, and then right here, you just do like demos, DM, pugs, food. And since you're not having a super like optimal schedule to play Counter-Strike all day, you want to make sure that you're um, really focusing on what you need to do, right? So if you're someone with really good aim and your, your, your issue is maybe making bad decisions in the game, maybe you need to learn lineups, maybe you need to do more server side time, maybe you need to watch more demos. Uh, you don't need to do maybe more DM. Pugs are, you know, pugs are always good, in my opinion. You know, it's, it's never a terrible idea to do pugs. But I just think if you're someone that's kind of like on the top of the, 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 the leaderboard in terms of skill, you can always make your brain 
stronger too, not just, not just your aim. So try to fit that in, try to be honest with yourself and, 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 and try to be efficient with your time because you don't have the most time here. And if you have a girlfriend, this is going to be even more problematic. And I think it's really important that if you have a significant other, you know, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, you know, um, you try to explain to them that this is kind of like a sport to you and you're trying to take it serious. And some people are not going to support you. Hopefully your partner does, but generally you're not going to get a ton of support from like your family, um, and your friends and, you know, your significant other, like most people are going to be like thinking it's kind of a waste of time. Like sure. You might have a cool girlfriend or boyfriend and they, and they might understand by just saying like a lot of times you're going to get resistance in life of people that just think you're wasting your time and they're going to just think like, Oh, it's just a video game. Right. So, you know, setting the expectations with that person is going to help a lot just so they know. And I'm not saying that you have to like schedule your girlfriend in every day or something, but like you have to explain to them that you need to be doing a certain amount of things every day. Right. You, you got to explain to them. Like it, it's like a sport, like it's like playing football. Like you would go to football practice after school, that like that kind of stuff. Right. So, and w when you have, you know, friends and girlfriends and stuff like that, it's going to cut into this time. Like after your practice, like generally you're going to be able to play like three or four scrims and people aren't going to be too bothered by it, but it becomes when you go start going further than that, right? Like if you, if you come home from school at like 4 PM and you play all the way to midnight, that's pretty much no time for anyone. Right. So that's just where I'm saying, like, you got to be like very on point, but luckily most of you don't have girlfriends. So that's not an issue. <laughs> um, and don't worry, I didn't either. That helped, that helped a lot. That helped. It was very, very helpful to stay. Uh, and plus, I mean, if you're not married, you're not, you know, you know, so anyways, um, we're going to, here 10 p.m. Now here you might just like want to relax a bit, you know, watch a movie, TV show, you know, friend game with friends. You know, there there's a there's a bunch of cool things you can do, right? Like hang out with your girlfriend. I'm not saying like you have to just play Counter Strike all day, but just being like efficient with your time and also prioritize showering. Okay, I've gone to local lands. I've had teammates at boot camps. Please shower. Please. Please fit in showers, at least one minimum, preferably two a day. All right. Um, it's just, it's going to help too. Okay. When you're clean, you just feel better. Okay. Like you're not all greasy, although I guess it might make your hand move faster on the pad, but you know, <laughs> anyways, so you're going to set up your day. And like I said, I'm, I don't know your life. I can't predict exactly how you want to sort everything. I'm just trying to explain to you to try to have some consistency and try to set up some structure if you're if this is important to you. Then generally in gaming, we have Friday and Saturday off. Um, and that's really up to you guys. Like if you just want to take Friday off or Saturday off, I do think when you're coming up the ranks and you're a newer player, playing as much as you can, especially on like Saturday, Sunday, if you if you go to school, is beneficial. But if you're someone that gets burnt out, you know, having an off day or, and when I say an off day, you can still DM for a couple hours. Like I used to take Fridays off after a while and I, and I just wouldn't, I wouldn't play any pugs. I wouldn't play any FPL. I would just like DM, maybe watch a demo. And then I would just play like other games or hang out with my friends or go to the movies. And I felt like that was good for me. Like it, it kind of helped me like de-stress and like you get in this zone where like you play too much counter-strike and it's almost like it causes like anxiety in you because you're just like so like tunnel vision that like anytime you do bad and around, it's like you start getting frustrated and stuff. So I just think it's good to kind of like detox and like it can't be bad for your hand or your wrist either to, to give it a break, you know, in, in fitness, you don't do the same exercise every single day. Right. So I don't think it's the exact same with the hand, but it can't hurt <laughs> to give it a break, right? So then you want to decide like Friday, Saturday on your off days, what are you going to do? Because sometimes you're going to have to play on Saturday. There's going to be a qualifier, cup, matches, you know, stuff like that. But generally, you're going to have these two days off. So you just want to decide like if you just want to wake up on this day, bang out homework, you know, shower, uh, eat, and then like pugs all day 
with food sprinkled in here, you know, like food somewhere, that's fine. Honestly, when you're coming up, it's not healthy. This is not a healthy thing to do, but this will make you better. Okay. And it's kind of sucks because everyone wants to be like, oh, you, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't like support people and their bad habits. Dude, it's just, it is what it is. You know, like Zaiwu, Donk, myself, most of my friends, this is what we did. We know life the game. The more you play, the better you get until a certain point. I think there is diminishing returns once you're like Nico level good and you've been playing at a high level. I don't think playing more is necessarily going to help at a certain point. You need to play like a certain amount so you don't get burnt out. But when you're young, like, dude, when you're 17, dude, Counter-Strike is so fun. You can play 12 hours a day, no problem. You could, And, like, you go to sleep wishing you could just play all night, which you shouldn't do, by the way, because you're just hurting yourself in the long term. Like, prioritize sleep. Make sure you're well-rested. It's going to help your CNS. It's going to help your reaction time. It's going to help you feel better, recover. You know, your muscle memory is going to get better. You're, you're going to retain more information that way. Like if you, if you suffer, if you neglect sleep just to play more, it's not benefiting you the way that you think is, is all I'm saying. So yeah. Um, and then I want to say like, once you've figured out how you want to structure your day, um, it doesn't have to be super exact either. You can just like, you can just be like, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to eat, shower and do homework. And then team prac might DM before, like it doesn't have to be super exact or anything, but you just want to make sure you're trying your best to do similar things every day and make them useful and make your time well used. Right. So, um, what was I going to say? Sorry. So when, when, when you create the schedule, um, you can also have like you know, audibles, like, you know, you, you could take a day off, like you're going to have days where people have to go out, you know, there, there's going to be days where, you know, your teammate can't be on or whatever. So there's always gonna be a time where you're gonna have more time to go do other things. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's up to you to kind of just like schedule this. And then what I think is a good idea for people that have a hard time kind of like committing to, to certain things, like either, whether it's diet, whether it's, you know, creating a schedule, like a sleep cycle, like making sure you go to sleep on time. is just like putting a little check mark every day, you know, check mark. If you did everything perfect, check mark. If you did it wrong, X, X, check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark. Then at the end of the week, you look, okay, five out of seven days, you did what you're supposed to do. Cool. That's fine. Next week, try to get six, you know, just build on it. If you only get, if you only do it right for two days and you fail five, that's fine. Next, we try to get three. It's always about building, right? Like you're not you're not going to become like the most efficient person in like one second. Like in my bodybuilding endeavors, I eat the same six meals every single day, like clockwork. I do my cardio. I, I go to the gym. It's so easy for me. But I know if I gave it to one of you and you've never done it, it would be very difficult. But I never started like this. You know, I built up to this over time. Like I, when I was on C9, I was eating like four meals a day and then I went to five and then six. And then, you know, I just got more regimented and, and the more you do something, the better you get at it. So, um, yeah, I just, I just think it's important that people try to do stuff like this. And like I said, it doesn't have to be this exact one, but I hope that kind of makes sense. And I hope it helps some of you and let me know what you think in the comments below or not, but I would prefer if you did. Cause it helps with the algorithm and like, then I can do like these sick, like peck dances for you guys too. I don't know. So it's up to you guys.